Request for Review Tutorial EBS is a great tool for employers to submit insurance benefits transactions online. The Request for Review, or RFR, can now be initiated by the Benefits Administrator in EBS. The following is a brief tutorial on the Request for Review option in EBS. From the home page under Manage Subscribers, select Manage. Enter the social security number and continue. Note, if there is a pending transaction for the subscriber, you will be alerted that the record has a pending suspense transaction. It will allow you to delete and rekey the transaction through the RFR process. Enter the event date, requested effective date, change reason, and the reason for review. A phone number is not required. However, PIBA encourages you to enter a phone number in case more information is needed. The summary of change allows you to explain the subscriber's issue and circumstances. In the Please Explain box, enter an explanation of the summary of change, such as BA clerical error or delay, or subscriber failed to submit supporting documentation. Once you select Next, you will be prompted to complete the process as you would a normal transaction. Note, you will need to upload all supporting documentation before you approve the transaction. The BA console now has an RFR tab where you will find the submitted request for review and pending employer approval status. Once you approve the transaction, it will appear as pending PIBA approval status. If the RFR is approved, the transaction will apply with the requested effective date and the transaction will no longer appear on your RFR tab. If the RFR is rejected, an explanation of what needs to be done to correct the error will be shown on the suspended transaction. If it is denied, it will show on the RFR tab. You will need to acknowledge the denial page, print it, and provide a copy to the employee. Please remember to place a copy of the denial page in the employee's file.